my lovelies and welcome to my channel this is Leanne from Resin Shine Creations and I hope you are all doing well in today's video once again I will be attempting to create a oceanscape seascape piece on this 30 centimeter board that I already have prepped with tapes all around and also I draw my pebble line my landline so I know where to place my pebbles and these pebbles are special because I collected them this summer uh, from a lovely Slapton beach here in uh, South Devon So I added a little bit resin into my pebbles and now I am placing them on the board in the place. and I left them to cure and this is the next day and I will be adding my first layer of the sea and this I am using uh, mica pigments from Arteza and I will try to mix my resin quite opaque so this is kind of my base layer for the sea and uh, I like to do it in three colors so I have dark blue, light blue and green and then after I pour uh, I have my heat gun and I blend them together the colors so the sea is more sea-like that we all love and adore with beautiful pretty colors
Right, it is the next day and here are my colors that I'll be using for the next layer. And these are uh, dyes, so that means that adding some drops, the color is going to be quite translucent. And the little pot is for my white. Uh, I am using just for you online UK white paste and I'm quite happy with that. So I don't have lots of white because uh, you don't really need a lot of white for your waves. So I'll be mm, I'll mix my resin and now I'm starting to pour it on the board. And I hope you can see how transparent uh, my resin is. And yes, once again, I do my dark blue, light blue, and kind of green, uh, turquoise. And after I mix them together with my heat gun. I waited about 20 minutes so the resin resin thickens up a bit and I started to work <coughs> on my waves and yeah I'm still learning the wave technique and every time you do it is just like try and error and I feel more confident now to do the waves but I still feel that there are some things to learn for me and just going back to resin for these type of projects is best to have thicker resins so I am using at the moment Glass Cast 3, which is their top coating resin. Uh, but soon I gonna finish it and I will try to get some new resin that I never tried. And I'm not gonna say the name yet, but when I will get it, of course, I will let you know. So here I'm just kind of working on the pebble beach edge, uh, trying to put some white so it looks more realistic. Also, I think I could just add a bit more white and then get better waves bit more definition and of course as the piece uh, is quite large I went in and made another wave and you can see I have some nice lacing coming so I am sometimes able to create uh, some nice wavy effect so as I mentioned before, I think the more you do, the better you become. So 
So after this I will just uh, kind of yeah bit adjust the white and just leave it to cure for another 24 hours. And after that I will come back and do my third layer and it's go going to be the final one. So yes, next day back to my tints and mixing the resin. This is how the piece looking at the moment. And here I go, start to pour my resin again. And basically the same steps. Pour the resin, blend it, wait for about 20 minutes and then come with the white and try to put down some waves and that's it basically.
and here it is my piece of finish and I think it came out nice I'm really happy with it So, I hope you found this video useful and entertaining. Please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now, I'm saying goodbye. Until next time, keep creating. Bye.